And so, we shall tell the tale about the space bar on the moon. Once upon the moon. That's it. We were on the moon, and we were super close to a place called the space bar. Now, what is the space bar? I'll tell you what. But first, we must talk about a very special item in the space bar. This bag of peanuts. Not only does this bag of peanuts contain peanuts, but it also contains the peanut shells. And the peanut shells that you will see scattered all over the floor of the space bar because that is where peanut shells belong. As all peanut eaters should know, unless you are allergic, then please stay away from the space bar because we did not think about the allergies. We are going to create a serum that you can have so that you do not get affected by the peanut allergies in the space bar because all are welcome to the space bar, even the, the allergies. So we shall continue explaining more about the space bar. And the space bar here is just a prototype, I did want to mention, a prototype space bar. See how it's floating? Well, it's not just floating, it is a Murphy bar. I'll explain. So they have Murphy beds. You put them in the wall, they fold up. Murphy bar, basically, same thing. Explanation over, you're welcome. And then we have our bar stools. And what are so special about these bar stools in the space bar that you're gonna visit on the moon? I'll tell you what. Well, if you look closely, you will see colors in this part, the part that extends and then gets shorter. Look at it. You have green, you have red, you have blue. We have different color stool lights that you can choose when you sit down on the stool. And what happens when you sit down on this stool? Well, it clicks because it's a key. If you haven't already figured it out, it's like on a keyboard. The space bar comes from the lineage of keyboards all the way to the moon showing its family of keys and other wondrous glories. For example, there is a VIP lounge called the Alt Tab. We don't talk about the Alt Tab, but it's there at the space bar because it was once part of the lovely lineage of keyboards. And so sometimes, sometimes we don't talk about the lineage of keyboards because because then we start to think about what this sunflower is thinking about, its own lineage, and where it came from, and why it's looking out the window into space. Well, this sunflower here remembers the time that it was once inside of its shell, and how lucky it was for the humanoid trying to crack open that shell. That humanoid got frustrated for doing so much work in trying to open that shell that took the sunflower seed and threw it so far into space that it ended up on the moon in this space bar into a cup of water and it grew into this beautiful sunflower remembering its sunflower lineage looking out this window. That's why this guy is here. But now we have to draw our attention to this area with this guy. Because I'm sure you've been wondering, what are these eyes? I have been wondering too. And I guess the best way to explain it is, well, when you walk into the space bar, you're going to be greeted by this guy. Who is this guy? He doesn't have a name. We will never know his name, and that is okay. He is there to make sure we have the things we need. 
Look. He has water, apple, banana, ring. Trust me, you're all going to need ring. Book. Book is very important. And mushroom. Stay away from the mushroom. Whenever you see mushroom, don't even try it. That is the advice of the, the unnamed guy. And then below him, you'll see coming soon because this is a prototype bar. And not all the items are available just yet. But there is a ticket redemption for when they are available. And so far, seven tickets have been redeemed. And just to make sure it's seven, we're going to get closer. Yes. Of the ticket, rich seven. And so there you have it. You are looking at the space bar that will one day be fully available to you on the moon soon. The end.